I've never seen anything like this before, not in real life. We had to kick your brothers out of the house. Unavailable, unavailable. Oh my God, this is so perfect. <gasps> uh, I hate when this happens. Okay, ready? Open. Oh my God. <laughs> What's up, fam? I'm so excited for this video. I didn't think I was gonna be doing another one of these videos in, for a long time, but change of plans. If you've been keeping up with our videos, then you probably already know this, but our, um, at, at this moment in time, our two youngest share a bedroom. Long story short, Landon wants to share a room with the twins. We talked it over. We decided that we were going to let it happen. So we are doing a complete makeover of this room again. And I'm so excited for it because I love, I love this type of thing. It's not going to be like too extreme because we're like keeping the wallpaper. We just put a lot of this stuff up last year, but we're going to put all the Star Wars stuff together and give it to somebody. Same with Landon's dinosaur stuff. We kept all of this stuff together and we're giving it to somebody. Since we decorated their room the first time, this room has got, has seen some sh it has gone through a lot. The water damage leaked through into here. They had to repaint the wall, redo the baseboards, redo the carpet. So I, it's it's only fair that this room gets a little TLC, a little upgrade, you know, a little redo. I'm so happy that we're able to keep the wallpaper in here and the theme that we're like transitioning it to is not gonna be, like I feel like it's gonna go well. Do you think the uh, wallpaper because yeah. originally this is a Star Wars theme. I'll show you guys what it looks like right now. Since we've had to move everything and redo the carpet and everything up here, things never really got back to where they were. So like this was over here. Th these things were out here. So we're just re redoing this whole thing. Wallpaper is staying. I don't know about that spaceship actually now I think about it. So here's a little walkthrough of what the before is like. I need to take some pictures too. Can you get my phone? I'm gonna take some this pictures. This is the entrance. You walk in here. Landon's already brought some of his stuff in here as you can tell. The drum set is his. Keyboard. That used to be over here. This used to be over here so you can see where things are gonna get a little Ooh, that closet's fun but originally they actually took everything out of this closet when all the damage happened and we had everything in their closet in our closet so we need to reorganize all of this I'm excited are you excited it's gonna be fun so first things first Chris is going to take apart this bed and start building the new one I think that's that's our first step that we're gonna do right is start with the bed and then kind of work around that. The bed has a little bit different, well, a lot of bit different dimensions. So we're going to completely take this thing out. I'm <laughs> so excited to see how this new bed looks in here. I've never seen anything like this before, not in real life. Huh? Why are you breaking it? We had to kick your brothers out of the house. What? <laughs> Can you go get mommy? Tell her, say, I think daddy broke something. I told her that. And she Did, said, do not be crazy. Tell her to come here. Daddy. Whoa, <laughs> what happened in here? Um. When we moved everyone back into the rooms after redoing the carpet, the movers broke two of the beds. Well, technically three of them, kind of. Um, this one was broken, like, minorly. We had to like, well, what's the right way to describe putting it together? We had to put it together in such a way where it was never coming apart again. Instead of, instead of like putting everything back together with the original hardware, I had to use like big screws that made it permanent. Yeah, he had to permanently put it back together in order for it to not fall apart. So if you're wondering why he's breaking it, it's because it's already broken. Yeah, the way I put it back Unfortunately. together, it's not coming it was a, in nice. one piece. It was a really awesome bed. Step one is complete. You should probably vacuum before you put together the other thing. I was always worried about this wall. It doesn't look like it's screwed up though, huh? No, it's okay. actually in good condition. Looking good, babe. Step one done. Perfect. Update. It's late. How's it going? The instructions are not extremely clear, so it's a little frustrating. <laughs> because it's a triple bunk, a lot of the holes have to line up, or else it will not function at all. Right, so you have to make and sure I'm, it's exactly... And I'm learning it the hard way because there's pieces oh. that I have to switch back. Oh no. <laughs> that I have in the wrong spot because it's hard to tell from the instructions. Once it gets put together on this end where I think I have the right piece, 
there's like a hole that's on the wrong side, so I have to switch it. This looks good though. I really like it so far. It's, so far, so good. I have to admit, it is decent quality. Good. Okay. The instructions are like lacking. A four out of ten. What else is new? I mean, instructions are always crap. I feel like. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm getting so excited. Chris is gonna be gone for the first half of tomorrow, so he's doing a lot of this stuff tonight. And then as soon as this bed is built, I'm taking over. So this is his shift. My shift is coming. <laughs> And that is a wrap. I got it. Everything's good. It is 12.30. I had a little bit of issues with the very bottom level and the very top level being in box number one. And then the middle level was in box number two. So naturally, I built one box and then I was opening the third, expecting the third one to be the top bunk. And that is not how they packaged it. So I guess it's kind of my fault for not going through everything all at once, which I just was not really expecting to do. Um, I didn't want to have literally a hundred pieces of wood here that could go to any of the three levels. So I was trying to keep it simple for myself, but it worked itself out. I got everything perfectly done and this is how it is. That's it, I'm going to bed. Day two of decorating this place today. Chris finished the bed last night and oh my god, I love it. So far this morning, I have been working on the closet. That's one thing that just needs a little TLC anyway. Chris is gone for the first half of today. So I'm going to do a bunch of the little things. Like I'm gonna take everything down off of the walls. When he gets back, we need to go to Ikea to try to get another dresser and I need to go to Target. I might do that without him, depending on how much I can get done before he's done. But this bed, I did put this mattress on this morning by myself. Yeah, but the top, do you see it? But Wait, can I lay on that one? Yeah, I suppose. Just be very careful, okay? We're waiting to push back the bed until we can put the, um, we're gonna put LED lights again on the backs of these beds. So we have those, but can I go up there? until, yeah, go ahead. Mowgli, Mowgli and Mango do not get along, so they can't be in the same room together. Go, go, go. He's having his time out of the cage. You're always out of your cage, because you don't have a cage. Anyway, as you can see out here, this is where the pile of things go that we don't know what where they're going yet. Since the boys knew that we were getting this trouble bunk, they already have decided who is sleeping where. But since they already know who's gonna be sleeping where, I wanna customize each of their little bunks to make it feel special for them. I don't know if I'm gonna do like a shelf or I just wanna do something. They all three are going to love like the overall theme of the room, but I also want to give them their each individual like sections as well. Landon likes penguins, Caden is into Pokemon, and Kyson is into anime. So each of their bunk is going to be unique to them. So let's take down all the Star Wars stuff. You want to help me, Addy? Yeah. All right. I found something that's really hard to be mad at. The kids drew on the side of the dresser. It says, I love mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, how do you be mad at that? Oh my god. Ooh, this wall needs touch up. This light is so terrible, but I just got to Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm so frustrated. I wanted to get a couple shelves or something. I'm not really sure exactly what I want yet. And while I was out, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should like get them some new sheets. I wonder if the bed that I or the bedding that I ordered comes with sheets. Cause sometimes when you order them online, they don't come with everything like that. So I decided to bring up the listing on Amazon and read like all the fine print little details. And in the little fine print details, it says no comforter included. Uh, I hate when this happens. Am I the only one that hates the idea of duvets and their covers? I don't know, I just, I hate them. I think they're just more hassle than what they're worth. So what's being delivered is just the zipper parts, like the outside, it's basically like a pillowcase for the blanket. And I don't have a duvet comforter 
for any of them. So now I need to try to find one. Chris suggested I go to Bed Bath & Beyond. So I just pulled up here and they pr will probably have the other stuff that I was thinking about getting also. I stopped at Walmart on the way to get new pillows for them. They just have had the same old nasty pillows since they were like potty trained. So I'm gonna toss those and replace them. And I'm going to cross my fingers that I can find a twin duvet comforter. And I found them here. They're pricey. I just got back from the store and I accidentally wore out my freaking bright orange Crocs and I was out and I didn't realize it until I got to the store. So I came back home to pick up Chris and grab the truck and get the kids and we are going to head out to Ikea now. I actually had like not a lot of good luck at all. I couldn't find anything that I needed at Best Buy. Best Buy. Oh, at Bed Bath & Beyond. I found the comforter at Bed Bath & Beyond but nothing else. I went to Walmart, Target, and Bed Bath and & Beyond and I am having trouble finding like a shelf. Like I don't know why I can't find a shelf. So we're gonna try to get a dresser from Ikea. The problem with Ikea the last several times that we've been there is that they are out of stock of everything. So wish us luck that they're not out of stock of the dresser that we want. We're going to measure and then bring a tape measure also actually. All right, we want to put the dresser right there is where we're thinking. I'm gonna push this bit over and see how big that space is. I'll be back. That's your light. That's where we got it. All right. This is what we came for here. Unavailable. 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 Why? I had a feeling. I don't know. They're just never available. Unavailable. Unavailable. There's literally nothing. 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 Nothing is available. Nothing in white is available. What are we gonna do? Jinx. We're gonna do Jinx, okay? Ready, one, two, three. Jinx. Jinx. She calls Cheers Jinx. Why is oh. it called Jinx? It's not called she goes, Mommy, let's do Jinx. <laughs> she means Cheers. As you can see, the room's finished. <laughs> the room is totally finished. We got everything we needed. We're obviously kidding. They had pretty much nothing. They're out of stock of everything. That was fun. Is that chocolate? Is that good? You got chocolate. The good news is, is we went through it really fast, but they were out of every single possible dresser that would work. Yeah. So, boo. Very unproductive. Seven o'clock, so we have a little bit of time before some stuff closed. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to Target. Ah, uh, when is all of these shortages gonna stop, I wonder? There's a Taco Bell over here. That's interesting. Look at Why ever would you point that out? I can't tell. I can't see it. Look at They had two left. So Chris and I, like weeks ago, we were No way, you found? at Ross. You found another one. I'm telling you, it was meant to be. We, Chris and I were randomly at Ross and we saw this awesome gaming table and we were like, man, it's too bad we don't have a use for that because it's so, like look how cool this is. Like so cool and it folds up. And we almost got it, but then we were like, "There's, we don't have no reason for this. But since we decided to redecorate and now changed it to this, we were literally the last store and Chris was like, man, it's too bad, like we didn't grab that table. And so we came to Ross right now and I thought there was gonna be no way. You know, they go through stuff so fast. Yeah, and it's and this limited. Is it's limited and you, they don't get more of it. And this is a different location. So I was like, let me right. just check. I was about to walk out of the store and this caught my eye. So it was meant to be. Lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in the back. Here, let me. You gonna do it? Yeah. There was literally two. And there was only one left with the red on it. The other one was completely black. That was fate. And it was on sale because it's been sitting there for so long. Yeah. Such a score. Whoa, careful baby. Oh my God, this is so perfect. Oh, I'm so happy we decided to do that. All right, we're back from the store. This is everything that we have. We have it just piled on the floor right now. We're gonna take it all upstairs. This is not for their room. That's a sneak peek of what Addie's room is gonna turn into, but we'll just pretend like we didn't see that. I actually have a bunch of stuff that is not getting here until tomorrow, which is when I wanted to show them this. So we, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. It might be like tomorrow night. I have no idea to be continued, but it's important things. It's like, I think there's some things that I have to hang up and then it's two of the two sets of the bedding. And that's like a big piece of it. So I'm gonna put together as much as I can tonight, hang stuff up. Luckily the bulk of it is already done, like the bed's already put together, things are moved. We had no luck finding a dresser at all. So what are we doing about that? We kind of forgot about that. What are we doing about the dresser? Just not doing it for now? 
We need to There's order one. Like what we can't even order. And we need that dresser. We don't need it to finish the room reveal though, I guess. We can go to a furniture store tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, there's still so much to do. All right, I've got backup. Backup on backup. And we're ready to make this happen. You guys ready? We're gonna spend all night, all night putting this together. Hi. Is it even a YouTube play button? Oh my god, it low-key looks like it. I'm so excited to see their reaction. Can you film it? <laughs> no, I was thinking not this time. <laughs> This is the current state of the room. It's kind of a mess, but we are so tired. We're going to have to put the rest of it off until tomorrow, which we need the rest of the stuff to come in anyway. The only other thing I wanted to get done tonight was hanging up the lights behind the bed, but we have been going nonstop and we're not gonna get to it because we need to go to bed. Wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up. Wake up of finishing up this room and today is the day. We're going to finish the room today. We are getting a few last minute things at the store. We just stopped by Best Buy. Now we're stopping at, where are we? Staples or office? Staples. Staples. We're gonna get like a gaming chair. We're gonna set up that whole little gaming corner and then um, we're gonna throw the rest of it together and we're almost done. It's <laughs> a good price too. I think either red or purple. They do have a lot of purple in there, actually. I think red. Red's better than purple, you think? It's, it's just... Oh, the desk is red. There you go. Yeah, we should do red. Yeah, this is the one. Perfect. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, moment of truth. Is it going to fit in the car? Why did we not bring the truck? I can't tell you why. We don't know. We just got back, we had no look for the dresser. I did, however, look on Walmart's website and it says that they have one available for pickup. I just hope it's not too big. Um, Chris is gonna go check it out, but he dropped me off here so I can get started on finishing up the little stuff in the room. I'm actually gonna hang up these. Well, I ordered these off of Amazon and I thought that they were going to be like canvases that you can hang. <laughs> Turns out they're just little pieces of paper. So so we went back to Target. I got these picture frames and I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna take this out, put that in there and then hang up these little pieces up right here. And then I'm gonna get started on the lights behind the bed. I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Keep it steady cause I'm happy. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna wake up. We have been going non-stop. I'm so tired. Between these picture frames and getting these lights up. Oh my god, my body hurts. But this is what we're looking like so far. And I'm so sad because we're losing the daylight out there and the lighting would be so much better to take like the after pictures with the sun still out, but we're definitely not gonna finish in time. Chris is putting together a dresser. Oh, I don't know if I updated, but we found this dresser from Walmart. That's the only place in the entire world that had <laughs> anything and it's gonna be very cheapy so I don't know how long it'll last but it'll do the job for now Addy do you like it so far yeah. don't tell your brothers okay? okay it's a secret you gotta keep a secret from them okay. <laughs> we're so close all we have to do is this little corner right here and this right here and then I think we're pretty much done Chris just set up the chair he's setting up the monitor and stuff back here for the gaming area now. I got these little tiny picture frames to sit on the, each of their shelves and I printed out a picture for each of them that they would like. Like this one is for Landon, it's me, dad, and him. This one's just a picture that me and Kaisen took and then this one's for Kaden, it's from their Pokemon birthday party, which Pokemon is his jam. So I don't know how thoroughly I have explained this yet, but what's gonna happen is that each of their 
bunks like their little bunks behind me is going to be unique to them so obviously one of the things that they all have in common is they love gaming type of stuff so that's why we did the overall theme of what? the boys like gaming <laughs> i know no that's why the overall theme of the room is gaming but in each of their little bunks they it's gonna be like personalized to them so i got them each some little my kids love they call them stuffies i i called them stuffed animals when i was a kid i don't know what it is with this stuffy thing but they all love stuffies so they each got their own stuffies like i got pokemon ones for kaden and then he's got like his pokemon picture and on his shelf he can put some of his pokemon cards if he wants um landon's thing right now is penguins i don't know why he just is really into penguins and then kaisen loves anything and everything anime that's his jam. Oh my gosh, I did all that and it's just like a little bit too small. I'm frustrated. This picture frame is just like a cheap frame that I got, but it'll be, you know, cute for them to have like next to their bed. So that's the idea is that they each have their own space. <laughs> Exhausted and proud. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to show the boys. I think this, we're ready to share the final product. Whoa. This is, this is super cool. Super cool. This came out way better than I expected. <laughs> They're gonna freak you. They're gonna freak. So, like, if we're arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? <gasps> They're gonna die. They're gonna die. <laughs> this is gonna be way beyond their expectations. <laughs> Left out the door with Mimi, we got to work. <laughs> like you weren't, you didn't even leave the driveway yet, and I started breaking stuff. <laughs> breaking. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Breaking. Are you ready? Ready? Yeah. You can come up to the top, but wait, don't open the door, okay? Can we try to guess? Can we try to guess? Can we try to guess? You want to try to guess stuff? What kind of room you think it is? Landon. It smells like paint. It smells like paint. So paint. Painting room. Painting room. A painting room. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah. Set. Open Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Daddy. 
I love you guys. I hope you guys like it. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will try to link as much as much of it as I can down in the description below. This was like a full three-day project. I'm so sore, but it's so worth it. Bless you. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.